So now let's explore how with natural medicine, we might help a patient with Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. First things first, we've got to eliminate those pro-inflammatory foods. To be honest, dairy is an absolute nightmare if you have Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. It has got to go. So this is the point where with your patients, you might have to be fairly direct with them in just telling them that this is one of those situations where it probably isn't ideal to even be having small quantities. To go dairy-free here would absolutely benefit most people with inflammatory bowel disease. You also need to try and make sure we can cut out anything else that is pro-inflammatory like gluten. And you might consider getting the patient to eat foods that are very, very, very simple to digest and also are in no way going to be creating any form of irritation at all. So sometimes it needs to be very simple. You don't want somebody's digestive system to be spending huge amounts of energy breaking down dense proteins from meat. So in an ideal world, you would advise somebody to try and keep to a plant-based diet where possible. And if they are going to ingest meat, ideally go for things like skinless oily fish, such as salmon, because, the, because of the omega-3 fats that we get from it that are anti-inflammatory. Omega-3s are so important here. We've spoken about, of course, things like salmon, things like avocado, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and also Brussels sprouts. So think about the anti-inflammatory effects of omega-3 fatty acids. And because of the fact that this is quite a significant disease process, this is probably one of those times where you might consider um, potentially giving somebody fish oils if they will have fish oils because that then gives a guaranteed quantity of these anti-inflammatory omega-3s. So there's quite a few different fish oils you can get. Um, Lion's Heart is, price, is quite a good brand. Um, uh, Wild Alaskan is another good brand you could try. So try considering those also if you need to go a little bit beyond just introducing these into somebody's food. Also quercetin rich foods, so things like red onions, things like berries, cherries, etc., are very good because they're anti-inflammatory. I would normally advise somebody to try and drink um, very warm water that contains ginger. So grate the ginger, let that ginger just be steeped in boiling water, and then drink the whole thing. Don't try and strain out the, the little um, gratings of ginger if they, if they don't mind, because that's really beneficial. You can also think about things like cabbage juice. Cabbage juice is very good in that it is anti-inflammatory, and on top of that, it helps with actually sealing up the junctions in the intestinal lining as well. You can also use green tea because green tea also helps with the same. You can also think about vitamin D status. Now, one of the biggest risk factors for these conditions will be a lack of vitamin D because these are thought to be autoimmune conditions. So think about getting their vitamin D status increased and consider how you can also support digestion because if somebody is struggling to digest and they've got lots of inflammation in the intestines, consider things like green juices, packing that with lots of key nutrients. Think about, for example, getting good intake of a good intake of protein from good sources. You can also think about using medicinal mushrooms here because they can have effects at m in modulating the immune response. So shiitake, reishi mushrooms, for example, these can be very good as well. We then need to ensure that we're repopulating that gut flora with good bacteria. Another common trigger for inflammatory bowel disease will be antibiotic use. So thinking about trying to repopulate with good bacteria and also addressing any of these nutritional deficiencies that somebody has acquired. If they're not absorbing calcium or they haven't been absorbing calcium, try and work with increasing calcium intake and so on. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. 
To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy.com.